Hi, actually, my name is Daphne. Thank you for sending in your essay for correction to IELTSpodcast.com and for getting involved in the course. That's great to have you on board um, getting ready for your IELTS exam. So, okay, let's go through this. And you've asked me to mark it um, as uh, an exam, which I would. Um, so I'm always looking out for the task achievement. Uh, that means how do you answer the question correctly, the uh, cohesion and coherence, so how easy it is for my essay to follow, so how easy your essay kind of flows together. So we're going to be looking at the paragraph construction, we're going to be looking at the grammar you're using, and the vocab obviously as well. So, child's imagination, skills and imagination can advance performing entertaining activity instead of reading alone. Okay, so this grammatically doesn't work that doesn't really quite make sense so uh, you need to have something a little bit more general at the beginning so nowadays or maybe uh, uh, parents and professionals have long believed that so you need something a bit more general at the beginning. Uh, child, child, yeah, a, you don't want to have to be the, a child. Skills and imagination can be, you need a passive structure there, can be advanced by performing entertaining activities, i.e. as plural, instead of reading alone. Okay, then that works. In my opinion, playing console games that may or could or might, so we're going to use those words instead of do, one of those, help children outperform. Mm, if you're going to use outperform, you mean outperform what? Um, so you might be to say perform better. This essay will discuss the advantages of playing games over reading alone, using examples. Okay, that's nice, good. Okay, so what is great is that you've uh, listened to Ben's uh, video, so I can see a lot of the ideas are similar to that, which is great. So you really kind of uh, understanding how to put this together. Firstly, playing console games may, one of those modal verbs again, offer children more advantages than just reading. This is because, no, we don't want to repeat playing games because you've said already here playing console games. So you might have to say that uh, this is because uh, participating or competing in such exciting um, challenges. So you might just change that a little bit. So active skills, spatial awareness, problem solving, vision and speed skills. Okay. And tell me why. Because because that's a that list is okay. But if you're going to list something, you need to develop it a bit more. Because why are you developing these skills? Why are you getting spatial awareness? Why are you problem solving? Why is this better? So to get a good band in the IELTS, you need to develop. So band 6.57, uh, you need to develop the argument, and that's what we need to do here. For example, recent studies uh, provided or proved, not provided, proved, that means said, that children who play console games and let's try not to repeat this because you've had it here and there and there for an hour a day perform better than their peers engaged in reading um, reading alone um, because, read, because this is more of a solitary activity. Yeah, so you're reading, you're not kind of doing anything with your friends. So why I'm putting in these because and these connecting ideas is this to develop the argument. This will help you with the task achievement, so answering the question and the coherence, which is making sure the, uh, the essay is well argued. Uh, therefore, yeah, that's fine. Secondly, video games are more of a relief than reading. You need a comparative there. Uh, uh, add up to more stress. Mm, not sure what you mean there. Uh, okay, and maybe and may help to reduce stress. Not not sure what you mean. That's a suggestion, maybe. As our brain works like a spotlight, able to focus on a limited amount of information at any time. Okay, so connect this together. Don't, don't know full stop. Connect it. For example, uh, university 
Now here you have to the university, in this case, not always, but here you do. Um, children who um, had undergone, so this has happened before they played on the video games. So you need a past perfect tense there, which would be very nice to show that there. That would be nice grammar. Um, so were given, so you've got passives here, you need to be showing passive verbs there. Uh, to pay patients who played and so connect this together and patients who played ignore their pain 92% of the time compared to other patients wow as a consequence virtual games reduce study okay yeah that's a great um that's very interesting but how is that connected to reading okay connect so for me, it's a very interesting example, but you've gone off the task. So in terms of answering the question, the task achievement, you've come away from it there. So to conclude from examples and arguments given, I found me that playing console games uh, has, so playing has, more impact on children compared to reading alone. So if any improves skills, but teaches children, you can't say kids, to informal youngsters, to organise with the resources provided in future, children should be allowed to learn. Okay, that's all right. So to grow and develop for the future, their future maybe. Okay. So, uh, so in terms of the uh, like the band descriptors, task achievement for me, you've you've started answering the question here. Okay, here you've gone off the task, so that would reduce your mark on that. Um, but basically you're on the task. Um, coherence is quite easy for me to follow, not always that easy. I mean, but, but I see what you are doing there is you're giving me a good topic sentence. You're giving me an example, which is great. So that's really, really nice. Well done. Um, grammar, we've got a few little issues on grammar on some passive tenses, correct uh, tense corrections that need doing, and obviously the here, the noun verb agreement. So there's a little bit to work on there, but that's a good start. Uh, some people think schools have to be more entertaining. The purpose of schools is to teach in an entertaining way rather than just educate. In my opinion, schools. Uh, yeah, I would say, again, many professionals and educational specialists. Argue that. So something a bit more general in the beginning, but when we do the template, you'll see that. And that will really, really help you. In my opinion, schools are the place to teach valuable education in a more interactive way instead of tutoring only but knowledge. Okay. This is we'll discuss the advantage of entertainment. So <clears throat> tell me what you mean by entertainment. So here you've put interactive, which is great. Uh, <clears throat> using so instead of entertainment, using interesting and challenging activities. Um, as a mode of a supplement to education. You see an example. Okay, so we've just added in a few things here rather than saying entertainment, which is their word, I'm using this interesting and challenging as well. Firstly, students can develop learning competencies through play and games. This is because if we take a jigsaw, puzzle kind, art and engineering, yes, in a problem which demands a uh, skill to be uh, sorted. Yeah? Uh, the puzzles are a metaphor for life. For example, um, I don't know who that is. Is that a organization in which capital letters it should have, maybe? Not sure what that is. Survive jigsaw puzzles is an invaluable educational tool for preschoolers, yeah, because it helps train in dexterity, spatial relations, and logical thinking. Okay. We would add that jigsaw puzzles are valuable for older children. So therapeutic form. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I would I don't like uh, the use of we in these essays because I think um this feels to me that it's not quite connected to the essay here. Um, so you could say, um, as an example, schools which incorporate jigsaws into uh, part of the lesson. So keep this connected back. You've gone off task here. Uh, this is a very 
again, interesting, but you're not really connecting this to this idea of what you do in a school classroom. Also, in a school classroom, you wouldn't really be talking about preschoolers. So be careful here. You've just gone a little bit off the off the point. Uh, uh, little bricks called Lego, which have many benefits. Yep. Again, that's a little bit too much of a list. So a bit like in the first essay, be careful of just giving me giving me two or three is fine. Um, but a long list like that, which is not really making any points, that doesn't, it's not really kind of connected. You're not sort of making an argument with that. You're just giving me the list. Um, develop interest towards architecture. Good. So you could say, so secondly, um, incorporating the use of Lego bricks into a lesson such as mathematics or science or art could help students develop better creativity, motor skills and an interest in engineering. Yeah. So do you hear how I'm just changing that, using your ideas, but making it into a better sentence? Um, you could say this will be particularly relevant for students who are interested in architecture as they could practice building or practice uh, studying space awareness or something like that. So it's a nice argument, but you need to really connect that back to the question. For instance, students can start with prefab sets. Yes, that's fine. But again, this is not really relevant for this essay. So the structure of this here, you want me to, you want to have, this is a, a two paragraph essay really. One paragraph, yes, let's make the classroom more entertaining because we could use Lego and jigsaws. Second paragraph, no, uh, let's keep it um, academic because you need to have good exam results to go and have an amazing career. Okay. If you want to argue all the way one, you can, but you need to have one sentence here. So secondly, although exam results are extremely important for the future, da da da, uh, lessons can be made interesting by the use of Lego. So the structure of the essay, you've got to be very careful on that and make sure you are on task. So to conclude from the examples arguments given, I firmly believe education should be entertaining compared to simply studying academic knowledge or complete compared to a sole focus on academic knowledge. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that really works in your conclusion. Um, I think you should have to say, you know, there is ample evidence that education can be, education does not have to be torturous. It's a good word. Education does not have to be torturous and painful. Um, in order to encourage children to learn something. So a little bit more of a formal conclusion there is what you need. Okay. So you made a great start on these essays. Well done. There's a lot um, of really good stuff. There's a lot that we're going to work on as we go through. The next essays you're going to do will have the template guide to guide you through. So that will really help you with the coherence and the organization. So have a go at those and I look forward to reading your next ones.